Good morning. Welcome back to the channel. This is part one of The Sims 4. I'm still in the series Goths Across Time. I did play the Goth family through The Sims 1, 2, and 4. So in terms of a timeline, The Sims 3 is actually the beginning of the timeline in The Sims 4, then The Sims 1, then The Sims 2. The Sims 4 is actually not in the lore timeline. It's more like an alternate universe. So, in Sims 4, Bella is still with her family. So, as you see, Bella Goth, she's a party animal. She still lives with her son, Alexander, and her daughter, Cassandra. They're both teenagers, but Cassandra's um, almost at the end of her teen timeline, whereas Alexander's in the beginning. So, there's definitely an age gap between the two of them. Um, as you see, their, their aspirations and things don't really fit. As well as I thought it would, so I'm going to do a little bit of tweaking. So for Alexander, I felt like he was more, um, I didn't think Chef was really appropriate for him. He didn't show any cooking inclinations in The Sims 1 or 2. So I'm going to make him a knowledge sim and really into academics, as he was really studious in The Sims 2. Cassandra, they have her as a musical genius. Um, I don't think that really fits her either. She never really showed any musical inclinations in The Sims 1 or 2. I think she really was more, um, you know, a little bit more on the studious side also. But she also really wanted love. She really wanted love from Don Lothario, who I don't believe is in Sims 4. And in this universe, she's a teenager and she's not dating anybody. Uh, for Bella, I don't think she's a party animal. She really showed a lot of love of animals in The Sims 1. With all the cats that would come visit her on the porch and... Things like that. So I'm going to have uh, her go ahead and change her aspiration to friends of animals. They don't currently own any pets in this household, but you know we can definitely change that. But as you see here, I'm going to have Bella just interact with her kids. I think that's a big deal. You know, she's a she's always been a good sim, a family oriented sim, um, a very loving sim. So I'm also going to have Cassandra just change their look. I don't think. This goth would wear anything other than black, except for Bella, who always wears her signature red dress. So I'm going to have Cassandra plan their outfit. As you see, a little bit different here in The Sims 4. Um, you can ha plan the outfit, which will do the hair and the clothing in cast. So I'm going to fast forward here because I'm sure you don't want to see me pick everything. If you, my likes and dislikes look a little different, I do have a mod installed to let you pick attractiveness likes and dislikes for hair, voice, uh, gender. So I'm going to quickly just pick through those options and try to stay true to Cassandra for how she was in Sims 1 and 2. I'm also going to keep in theme with Black. You know, even though she's a teenager, I don't want to make her too spicy, but, you know, I do think she would wear a lot of black or darker colors. Black and white is still kind of a good combo, because in The Sims 1, you couldn't really tell what she was wearing. The graphics weren't that great, but in The Sims 2, she definitely wore, like, black dresses and boots, and she was not very girly either. She just wore a lot of black. I won't change Bella or Mortimer in this game. I think it's cool to keep them how they are in terms of their outfits and their hair. So with her, yeah, like I said, they put her in just really funky clothes um, that didn't really match her personality, so I wanted to fix that for Bella and make her look more like a gothic teenager. I didn't add the makeup with her being a teenager, and the reason why I didn't add makeup I don't know about you, but I came up in a kind of conservative, you know, cautious household, and so I didn't really get to wear makeup as a teenager. And so I don't think for Bella as a, or I'm sorry, for Cassandra as a teenager that it would be appropriate. Even though, yes, Bella got to wear makeup. I also redid more, they redid Alexander because he looks different than I would imagine. The Sims 2, I did play him through as a teenager, and he was more kind of nerdy, geeky. In that game, but in this one, it seems like they made him super buff and like attractive, which it kind of stand out differently. I don't know why The Sims 4 team decided to make him look totally different. When I aged him up in The Sims 2, I said he looked nothing like this. But I'm gonna lean into it. I'm gonna continue to keep him in black for the most part. I gave him glasses. I believe he did wear glasses in The Sims 2. Um, and just kind of kept it true to who what I thought he would be as a teenage boy in 2021. Because The Sims 4 is still evolving, so the times and the outfits have changed. I still live in a, their common house. 
This one's three stories. First floor is a living room, a uh, kitchen. Still no TV, no fish tank in this one. Second floor is a bedroom for more than Mirabella, a bedroom for Cassandra, and then a room with a piano in it and a bathroom. And then the very top, there is a smaller room, which is more than Mir I'm sorry, Alexandra's room. So those are the rooms in this house, and they still kind of fit the Gothic theme. They kept it pretty much the same uh, throughout all of it. I noticed there's no computer anywhere in this house, which I guess would be traditional to the game in the previous two editions. I may end up adding a computer if somebody needs it. But those are the three rooms, like I told you. I, I may not redecorate the room, kind of want to take it away from the Gothic feel that it has. But I will kind of assign beds and get them used to what room is theirs now in case they get tired later on so as you see they're still very family oriented in this universe since bella never disappeared you know she has a good relationship with her kids alexander knows her you know she's very much still married and in love with mortimer it's a very different situation here i'm gonna let cassandra take over the role so in the sims one i had Bella do most of the household duties, the cooking, and taking care of the kids. But the kids are big now. Uh, Cassandra being very close to adulthood and and Alexander being a little ways into his teen years, they can kind of do more for themselves. In this game, Bella does work. She works as in some sort of like CIA agent or spy. I don't know if I want to keep her in that. I don't think that's very appropriate. Bella didn't have a job in Sims 1, and in Sims 2, she didn't exist in Pleasant View, so I don't think she would work as a spy. I don't know if that really fits the lore. So I'm going to have everyone come eat together. I had Cassandra just pull together a quick lunch. Um, Mortimer's at work. In this game, he works as a freelance writer, which is different. Because in The Sims 1, he, worked, he started off as a test subject, and then in The Sims 2, he was a retired mad scientist. He was definitely in the science -y field. He was definitely a STEM kind of guy. So for him to be a freelance writer now doesn't make sense. And as you also see with their household money, they only have 45000 So they're not rich like they were in Sims 2. Maybe because in this universe, Bella still exists. Mortimer doesn't work in the science career. You know, Cassandra's still a teenager in this version, so maybe she's not contributing to the house either. So, with Bella being the CIA kind of agent that she is, I just don't think it fits her personality. So, I may change her career at some point. But I like that, you know, they can talk and they can interact with each other. They seem to have things in common. The, the social menus aren't as hard as The Sims 1 and 2, where they seem to not really have much to talk about. Um, so, I'm going to have her do homework. I guess Alexander doesn't have his adult homework or teen homework yet. So I'm going to go ahead and do what they're doing and kind of work on their skills so they can move up. So they're both C students, which is different. In The Sims 2, Alexander was like a high B, almost A student, and he was in private school. Uh, there's no private school in The Sims 4 unless you get a mod which I don't have in this game. But I'll let them go ahead and work on their skills, work on their homework, and try to get them ready for school. Uh, Cassandra has not a lot of skills. She has a little bit of violin, a little bit of writing, a little bit of cooking. Um, so she can kind of do anything. And then with Alexander, I'm going to have him work on debate, because I may send him to college. It seems like that would make sense with his, with his aspiration of academics. And Bella's working on her logic, which is a part of her skill needed for the special intelligence uh, career that she's in right now. Now, she has a want to volunteer, and she also wants to leave a note for someone on the family bulletin board. The family bulletin board is a part of the Sims 4 Parenthood pack. I don't know if I want to buy it in this household, just because the kids are so big now. You know, Cassandra's going to be a adult soon, so it kind of doesn't make sense. But there Bella is working on her logic skill, and Mortimer just came home from work. Super exciting. So like I said, he works as a freelance article writer. He's level three in the writing career. Um, he does have three writing skill. And he, you know, he looks pretty suave for an older dude. Uh, he's an adult, of course. But I think I'm going to change his career. I just can't see Mortimer being a freelance writer. 
It just doesn't seem to fit him. So let's see what other careers he can pick from. So the top five careers are active careers. Um, so normally he'd be a scientist, but I don't necessarily want to play an active career in this game for him. So I might pick something that's kind of in the STEM field, but not active. So engineer seems to kind of fit his personality. He will be starting over, so he'll be level one support technician. So it's a little bit of a paid drop for him since he's a level three free freelance writer. But I think it'll be better to get him into a career that can use his mind more so than just writing. I don't know if that's really fitting more than his personality. So there are two career branches when he gets up to those levels. He can be a computer engineer or he can be a mechanical engineer. So like I said, normally he'd be a scientist, but that's an active career. And I don't think I want to play active with him because I also want to change Bella's job. So we had him quit, you know, working as a writer, start his support technician job. Unfortunately, he needs a computer to do this diagnostics that they're asking for him to do, and there are no computers in the house right now. But there are desks in various rooms. His room and Cassandra's room has a desk. So I may just throw a, a computer on there just so he can do some of the tasks at home and get a head start on the new job. They don't have a lot of money in this household, so I'm not going to spend a lot of money on the computer. So Bella still, you know, she was really thinking over the logic skill. What are my next steps? What are my next moves? And she just doesn't love this you know, CIA job that she's in. Bella's more of a creative sim. You know, she wants to be around people and pets and, and, you know, express herself socially. And so there's a lot of jobs I thought about. Style influencer made sense. Social media made sense. Um, but I really kind of like the interior decorator design career because I think that, that lets her meet people since she's such a social sim and wants to do good and wants to interact with others. She needs a job where she can actually interact and not just sit at a desk. So I'm going to find her a gig so I can either help the Pancake family or the Land Grab family. She's level one in the interior color designer phase, so I will do the Pancake family. So we'll be doing that task tomorrow. In the meantime, I'll continue to let her kind of explore the neighborhood. She really wanted to volunteer, and so I'm going to have them go volunteer at a soup kitchen. Bella's such a good sim that she wants to do good things all the time. And like I said, she likes to be active and out and about. Uh, so she's going to head on over to volunteer at the soup kitchen. Cassandra's already left. You see she's grayed out. Um, I think Alexander was in the middle of something, but I'm going to make him go ahead. And then we'll let Mortimer skip out on this one because he is trying to do something for work. I don't know why he's feeling blue. Maybe he's just stressed out learning a new career field, but he seems to be having a really hard time with the diagnostics he's supposed to be running. So I'll let him do that uninterrupted for a little while while they're gone doing their volunteering for the soup kitchen. And that's where we're going to end for today. Part two will be out soon. Let me know in the comments what you think. And thank you so much for watching.